We have new numbers today from Statistics Canada on the strength of the economy. GDP numbers are out for the month of February and they edged up just slightly. CBC senior business correspondent Peter Armstrong has the details. I mean, Hannah, how many times have you and I had this conversation about what we expect <laughs> the economy to do, that, that we expected it to slow to around zero and then just kind of sit there, maybe a bit above zero, maybe a bit below. And the problem was that we kept getting this surprisingly resilient data, which is great. Jobs are being added. The economy is expanding. That's fantastic. It just wasn't sort of matching up with the expectations. And in here, we finally see the data lining up almost perfectly with what we had been told would happen, that the economy was going to slow to around 0%. And the Bank of Canada made it very clear that maybe it'll grow a little bit 0.1% up, maybe it'll shrink a little bit 0.1% contraction, but that's going to be the nature of the next kind of six months or so. Mm -hmm. And here are these numbers, GDP numbers from StatScan, show a 0.1% uh, growth in February and the, the preliminary forecast, the advance estimate showing that in March we probably had a 0.1% contraction in the economy. So the nature of what the economy is going to do isn't that it's going to sink a whole bunch from here, but that it's going to sit and languish around 0%. I think the, the takeaway in all of this, Hannah, is that finally the data themselves are matching up with the forecasts and the expectations that, you know, it, it hasn't been as surprisingly resilient as, as maybe we have been uh, growing accustomed to over the past few months or so. Uh, and and that, that it does feel like this, everything's kind of lining up with the way we've been told to expect that it would, uh, finally, with these numbers. Yeah, that's how, that sounds good. We have the numbers now, the paper <laughs> behind it. What happens next, Peter? Well, the, the main one I'm going to be looking for are jobs numbers. You know, like yeah. we, we've added, what, 275,000 jobs since November. That is not the stuff of a slowing economy, as you well know. So if, if we're seeing the, the economy really contract and getting in and around 0%, what happens with jobs numbers? Will we see some kind of cracks form in that? Uh, <clears throat> we have seen some cracks form in terms of like a lot of those job vacancies have come down. Uh, we the, the the data we work off of that or the the survey of employment, payroll, and hours that came out uh, earlier uh, in the month. And, and so what I'm going to be really gonna be looking for are the numbers for April. How did we do? Will we still add jobs? And, and we also have to reset what we expect the monthly average jobs numbers is going to be. It used to be around 10 or 15,000. We added a million people to the Canadian population last year. So that number is going to have to go up. It's probably around 25,000, but, but that's an, an adjustment. But the, what will I be looking for going forward? Certainly the jobs numbers. Just see if, the, if that same sort of slowing is finally happening in the jobs market as well.